Good evening, wet shavers, and welcome back to the Shaving Tolson. This is your boy Tim, bringing you finally some of my top aftershaves for 2018, my top three aftershaves. So I won't waste any time. Let's go ahead and roll that intro. All right, guys, we are back. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into my top three aftershaves for 2018. Number three, we're gonna go ahead and lead right into Fine Accoutrements American Blend. Now, if you're really into barbershop kind of scents, this is gonna be a staple of your den. This is what I go to when I'm looking for barbershop type scents. I always compare them with American Blend. This is what the iconic barbershop scent is like to me. Anytime I've gone into an old school barber shop, I used to go to one regularly back when I was in college in Stillwater. There was a guy that had been there for, I think over 50 years. Um, had been doing cuts for some of the big celebrities, the OSU football, OSU basketball, the big coaches over there. And he just had a lot of stories to tell. And that's really what you think of when you smell American Blend. You think of all the stories. You think of all the people that have strolled through and had their hair cut and their face groomed. It's so strong, I could smell it with the cap on, guys. Now this does have that alcoholic burn. Now sometimes you get aftershave splashes that have alcohol but don't really have much of the burn. This will have a bit of a burn. Not a bad burn, it's just one of those healthy, yep, that woke me up kind of burn. Um, the thing about American Blend is it is one of the strongest and most long lasting of all of the aftershaves that I have. This can double as a cologne. It's that powerful. If I want something that's gonna smell incredible, especially if I'm going into something where I wanna feel a little bit more masculine, I know I'm headed into a work meeting or something like that, I might splash some of this on and it's gonna last me all throughout the work day. I'm gonna be able to smell it periodically throughout the day. My girlfriend really likes this scent. It is one that I like and it's one that belongs in your shaved in as it's just a great choice, just get online. You'll see about people talking about American Blend. This has been one of their, if not their most popular um, scents that Fine Accoutrements offers. And they also, of course, offer it in the shave cream tube that they just started manufacturing. And of course, their actual soap pucks. So go ahead and take a look. For number two, this was one of the first aftershaves that I ever used, and then I used American Blend actually short, shortly after this one, Sterling Sharp Dressed Man. Now, if you're familiar with Sterling, a lot of their soaps are inspired by very popular scents. You've got Executive Man inspired, inspired by Creed Aventus. You've got um, Sam Piper inspired by um, YSL's La Nuit de l'Homme. You've got all sorts of really popular scents. Kaboom inspired by Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb. This is inspired by Green Irish Tweed. And man, Does it smell terrific? I mean, this smells absolutely incredible. I've got totally the real thing right over here that I sometimes carry with me and just spritz on right before meetings and whatnot. But, um, and this is identical to the actual Green Irish Tweed. But in my opinion, I actually like the scent of Sharp Dressed Man better. As it's going on, you initially get um, kind of this heavy alcoholic scent it doesn't burn, It's especially when you're just smelling it right out of the jar, you definitely get the alcohol. But when you apply it, man, the dry down on this is out of sight. The dry down on this is incredible. You smell powerful, you smell wonderful. You really do feel like some of the classic guys of old, like Clint Eastwood and what have you, where this is something that they would have worn and it just, I can't harp on it enough. It pairs well with so many scents. That's what surprises me about this and American Blend, especially both of these scents just pair so well with various soaps, uh, with various EDTs that you're gonna have. The layering of those is excellent. And of course this pairs really well with Green Irish Tweed if you happen to have some by Creed. Um, it's amazing how I've been introduced to colognes, EDTs, EDPs, through wet shaving, and I actually didn't know about Green Irish Tweed until I had had this. And then I looked it up, found out what it was inspired by, got me a sample of it, and love it. It makes your face feel fantastic, and it's one of Sterling's, because with Sterling aftershaves, what I've found is typically I seem to get pretty decent longevity out of a Sterling aftershave, 
maybe not really, you know, projecting scent, but typically I can smell it throughout the day. I can get that with Sandpiper. I can get that with Executive Man. Um, I can get that with Sharp Dressed Man. But this one, for whatever reason, some of their aftershaves just seem to project and smell, as far as longevity-wise, longer than others. And this one is the best performer out of all of the Sterling aftershaves that I have. And I'll often look for excuses on what to pair this with and just to try different combinations. It's just an all-around great aftershave. Highly encourage you to pick it up. And the price is really good. Sterling's price to performance ratio is almost unbeatable. So I highly encourage you to head over there, give them a try. I'll include a link to uh, the Sterling Sharp Dressed Man in the description box below, so feel free to take a look at that. My number one selection for the night, we have, as no surprise to most of you, Asian Plum by Ariana Evans. And just look at that label. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, it matches. You can even see uh, Asian Plum in the background. I always call it my top, uh, my top shelf soap because I always have it up on the top shelf as a display piece. And you'll notice that I have a few other soaps that I absolutely adore on the top shelf as well. Sterling Soap Christmas Eve included. Love that scent. Um, that almost made some of my, that I almost used Christmas Eve aftershave instead of Sharp Dressed Man because I love that scent. It's so good. But Sharp Dressed Man is a regular offering. You can find that any time of the year. Christmas Eve is of course a seasonal aftershave, so etc. with the other peripheral products they have in that combined, in that same scent profile. But back to Ariana Evans Asian Plum. You'll kind of see if I zoom this in a little bit, how the liquid inside has this milky white kind of consistency kind of color. There's something about that that I've noticed with other aftershaves that I've used with that same kind of um, look is that they just feel super. I don't know if it's because a lot of them use the same ingredients and that's why you get that milky white color, but they just feel so good against your skin. It's hard to describe, but really you, you feel like your face is getting the, the vitamins, the essential ingredients that you really need to go back into your face that need to be absorbed in the skin that are just rehydrating and making you feel incredible. It's just a great overall product. It's fantastic. There's a reason why so many people talk about Asian Plum, so many people showcase it. One is just presentation, that label is absolutely gorgeous. But two, it's just a fantastic product. And the longevity and the scent uh, projection on this is good, it is so good. I get compliments when I'm wearing this all the time. I had just ordered the EDP as well. So when that comes in, of course, you know, guys, I'm gonna be using the soap, the aftershave, and the EDP to go ahead and compare those and show you, you know, what my overall experience is with all three of those products. But if it projects more, which it supposedly does as an EDP, more than this, I can't even begin to imagine it because I absolutely love how this sucker performs. And it's just an aftershave splash. I'd even call it more of a skin food than a traditional splash. And it just, it really moisturizes, makes your face feel incredible, and it smells so good. It smells so good. There's nothing in my den that's beat this, though today I did receive something very nice. I don't have it on screen right here right now because I will be actually utilizing that in, a, in an evening shave here in a little bit. I might do that as a live shave, but that is my new Shannon Soaps aftershave, which has the same consistency, the same color as the Ariana and Evans Asian Plum, but it's this 25th Street and Lime scent that smells like key lime pie. It smells so good. I can see that as just going right to the top, guys. I can see that being incredible. And I don't hear anybody talking about Shannon Soaps, which always surprises me. After I first tried a sample puck of theirs that I received actually from someone that just as a free sample from honing my razor, they sent that back too with my razor. There are a few soaps and aftershaves that I buy immediately after just trying a sample. And I, I went to the site and I immediately contacted um, Shannon over at Shannon Soaps and I said, I am just blown away by the product, the performance of the soap. Do you have a matching aftershave? Because it wasn't listed on the site. And she's like, oh, I, I definitely do. I can make you one right now. And she made me one. She shipped it out fast as soon as I sent her payment. And the price was perfect on it. So there's always that thing to consider when you're looking at your favorite soaps and aftershaves is that price to performance ratio. Are you getting the performance that you want out of it for the price that you're paying for these particular products? And aftershaves typically will always run you a little bit more than the soaps themselves, but some artisans do vary on that. All three of these, the aftershave splashes, are more expensive than the soaps. Don't quote me on this one, I'm 
100% sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to keep it short, sweet, and to the point as I've noticed that the, the amount of time that most of my viewers will watch these videos is about five to 10 minutes. So I'm really pushing it as far as I can without having to bore you guys or just dragging on some of this content. But if you love the length of the videos, if you're someone like me where I'm at work and I plug them in and I'll listen to like Rudd Shaves, I'll listen to Kevy Shaves, Friendship Shaving, I'll listen to Ken Surfs, I'll listen to all these great guys and just be plugging away while I'm, you know, sitting there typing on my computer. It's just a relaxing thing. And so many of these guys just have these really nice, just perfect voices that's just fun to hear them talk about the hobbies that they love. And I'm happy to be able to contribute back to that. So sorry this did feel a little bit rushed. If you would like to see me dial it down or slow down in the next video, please let me know. Because I don't mind rambling for, you know, for a while on some of my favorite products. Because these were my favorite of 2018. By far, they're incredible products. I absolutely love them. I use them regularly. After shave splashes, I feel like I can get away with a little bit more on switching those up in my shave of the days than I can with soaps, where I you know, definitely need to showcase a different soap for those on my Instagram page, which I'll also include a link below. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I post every single day, usually twice a day. One of my friends joked with me, he calls me Timmy Two Shaves, so it kind of stuck, and so you'll see that name on the page. Is what it is. But thank you so much for all of your support. I absolutely love this community. 2018 was a fantastic year. It was a great year. And I'm hoping 2019 is just gonna be as good. I plan on going to the Big Shave Southwest. All my best friends are gonna go. Dakota, Michael, Brian, Heather. So many are gonna be going to this event. And I'm excited to be able to see and meet with all these awesome artisans that I you know, really respect. and that put out some great material, some great product, and just meet the faces behind the company. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. You have a wonderful night. Keep shaving. I'll see you for the next video.